Happy Thanksgiving, guys. This is a super, super exciting day. First of all, it's Thanksgiving. For Americans, that's awesome. If you're not American, happy random Thursday in November. But look, we're in our brand new state-of-the-art, kinda, studio. Yes. And also, wait for it, listen. Somebody's here. James is back. James is back. <laughs> so to celebrate all these things, especially Thanksgiving, I decided I'm gonna make a hyper-realistic pumpkin, since that's sort of like the plant for this holiday. And since you guys have asked for it over and over, we're gonna make the entire thing completely vegan. Before we start our pumpkin batter, I wanna show you something. So sugar is not actually vegan in America. I don't know about other countries because they use bone char in the process of making sugar. So to ensure it's completely vegan, on the back of sugar, there's this tiny little symbol right here that tells you that the product you're using is actually vegan. So everything here is completely 100% Vegan. So we're gonna get all of our dry ingredients into the bowl first. So we got sugar, flour. So we have our leavener, that's baking soda here, and our salts. And then we've got our spices. So we got cinnamon and we have nutmeg. So the recipe's down below. It's also at you'vebeendeserted.com. And I think it says one tablespoon, one teaspoon of nutmeg. I like to grate fresh nutmeg. Oh, I'm fancy. No, it's really good and I just kind of go ham on it. I mean, don't get too crazy, but I'm just gonna call that right there, one teaspoon. See, baking doesn't have to be an exact science when you're using spices. Okay, we're gonna get that whirling. It doesn't, it doesn't, you ready yet? It doesn't work, what happened? Turn it up, we're it's, ready. It's all plugged in and stuff. Go ahead and turn it up. Oh, maybe, I, maybe it's the wrong one. Power problem is fixed, right? If I turn this on, yes! Now we're gonna add all of our wet ingredients. So I got some vinegar here, we can put that in the almond milk. Your nut milk of choice. And then we have vanilla, of course. That can go in the oil. I only drink squirrel milk now. And then we got our pumpkin. We're gonna add all of our milk mixture. Best thing about having a glass bowl is you can see where we need to scrape. You got some schmutz still stuck to the side on I this know, side. Hey, careful for the schmutz over here. It's a, it's a big, big bout of schmutz. It's a terrible thing to do when this is going. Don't ever put your spatula down in there. I've been doing this since 1947, so I'm... Uh... <laughs> or your appendages. Do not put your appendages Ooh, down. Do not there. put your fingers in there. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty nice and smooth. Now we're gonna do our pumpkin. I like that you guys said appendages and not just hands, like someone's dipping their foot in or something. <laughs> well, I'll just put a... I'll put my kneecap in. Once I dropped my spatula in there, it was like a nightmare. Did you run away? No, I just grabbed my purse and walked out the door. That's like our funny running joke here. In the back, there's just like bins of sprinkles. So if someone drops sprinkles, I'm like, just grab your purse and leave and don't ever come back. <laughs> you can't come back from that. If you drop a bin of sprinkles on the floor, you just sell the place and leave. All right, I'm gonna grab my pants, my pants spray, and we're gonna get these things in the oven. Get these in the oven. Get this in the oven. Uh, what are you, you putting some hairspray in? Pan spray. Hairspray, I got Hairspray it. grows. You just want it to stick, you want it to stay. You don't want to kill your family, okay? <laughs> well, I actually put a little piece of parchment in the bottom too because that is where it would stick the most. We do that and then we're gonna pour the batter in. Do you want to do like a uh, slow-mo-y thing? Yeah. Can we do like a real fun song? Like, girl, I'm gonna make this pumpkin, it's gonna be so thick. I was gonna see if James could sing the uh, slow-mo batter song. Oh, I've been preparing for this. Oh God, here we go. My whole time I was away, I was just writing songs for this show. <laughs> oh God. I'm gonna pour you out like a whole bunch of batter. Gonna mess you around. Girl, I wish you was fatter. Is this real life? I can't tell if I'm dreaming right now. Now we gotta break all of our pumpkins, cake, now we gotta break. Uh, I got break. Stop it. <laughs> now we gotta break all of our pumpkin cakes down. They're out of the cooler, and because we're sculpting this, they're super cold. But now there's gonna be pumpkin garbage cake. Oh, pumpkin garbage cake. Yes. And what kind of buttercream is that that goes with the This pumpkin? is actually vegan buttercream. That recipe, same. It's on you've been deserted.com. What is that, some sort of website? It's our website. Look, I'm just catching up with all the things, okay? Give me a break. <gasps> you ready for this beauty shot? What's it taste like? Oh my God, this is why this is so good because the texture of the pumpkin actually makes the cake 
feel like you're eating a thicker version of pumpkin pie. Ooh. Y'all gotta get on that. Yeah, I'm going to. Y'all gotta get on that. Brandon, well there's gonna be a lot. <laughs> I baked like 30 of these because I'm trying to get it as tall as this guy. What's his name gonna be? Chuck pa uh, Pablo Pump Pin Pumpkin Go. Popeye. Popeye the Pumpkin. What do we call him? Patch. 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 Uh, do you want to hear some viewer comments and questions? Yeah! Viewer comments! Sammy Garcia asks... Hi, Sammy. Does your cake recipe work well for cupcakes? Uh, yeah, it works fine for cupcakes. Why wouldn't it? Well, I don't know. They're smaller. You just have to bake them for less time. Yeah, you gotta bake them for less time. Uh, Avery Brooks says... I got my basketball team to be called DJ Sprinkles. Yes, they don't you know do. why. Yes, you do. You do know why, because it's awesome. <laughs> Here come the DJ Sprinkles. <laughs> Their uniform is pure gold, too, I assume. And then uh, Jenny Poo. Oh, hi, Jenny Poo. Said, K -k 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 -k. <laughs> This was awesome, guys. Gave me an idea for my niece's cake. Thank you. Heart emoji, smiley face emoji with the hands up. Sweet, you need to post that, Jenny, on Instagram and tag us in it. Good Lord. Okay, I'm gonna have to get this into the cooler to let the buttercream firm up, and then we'll start to carve it into the patch shape. All right, I'll get the forklift. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna walk up set with it. My back has been tweaky. Holy hell. Oh my God. Don't, don't blow an O-ring. <laughs> She's heavy. Okay, we're gonna sculpt this into patch. Whenever I sculpt things, I like to have either pictures of the product I'm sculpting or the 3D object. So, and we're just gonna take our time, take little bits off. Remember, you can always take more off. It's really hard to put it back. Beautiful. All right, so in the next segment, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so why is the pumpkin a Thanksgiving thing? You're gonna have to Google that because I don't have any idea. Ooh, let's find out. Pumpkins, like potatoes and tomatoes, were first introduced to Europe in the Colombian Exchange. But Europeans were more comfortable cooking with pumpkins because they were similar to their native gourds. This is boring. He's looking pretty pumpkin-y. I'm gonna give him a crumb coat, and then we're gonna give him a final coat. Now we're going to make some pumpkin skin. So, when you buy orange fondant, it is like, orange! And so, uh, I made a sample. That's pretty good pumpkin skin. So we gotta get, we gotta get to here. But I wanted to show you guys how I do it because to take white fondant to a really rich dark color like this, it's gonna sort of compromise the texture of the fondant. So we're gonna start with orange and color correct to make this. Once again, the product I'm using states on it. Vegan. So here's what I did. I actually added cocoa. I added some cinnamon so we get like a sort of like fleckiness cause you know pumpkins are like a little bit dirty. And then I added um, some orange to sort of color correct it. Uh, the other way. You'll see. That is like almost perfect. It's gonna look even better when I put some texture in it and shine it up a little bit. So let's grab our pumpkin and cover it in skin. Pumpkin's out. Super cold, this is our pumpkin skeleton. Pumpkin skin ready to go. I'm gonna roll it out. Here are all my tools I need to sort of make this texture. And then we've got snow! Snow! snow!
It's stump time. Is that a stump? What do you call this? It's uh, the pumpkin hat. It's the pumpkin hat? What do you really call that? Pumpkin hat. Okay, well we're gonna make a little like weird carroty thing like this. And we're gonna cut both ends off. Okay, now we gotta put some texture in it for sure. The stem. Stem! It's called the stem. It took us that long to figure that out. <laughs> it's totally the same thing as pumpkin hat. Stump is on. Um, and now pumpkin we, hat. The pumpkin hat is on. Now we're gonna rough it up. And we gotta give it all the fun texture. This is gonna be the fun part. <music> to paint this stem, I'm gonna use confectioner's glaze and powdered food color. So I've got a green, I've got brown, black, and yellow. Okay, let's try to do uh, this uh, fleshy color in here. Okay, this works. All right, now this part's gonna be tough because my green that I have is like grass green. And it can't be grass green. So we're gonna have to mix up maybe green and then... Purple. No, we're gonna, we're gonna do it in layers. Brandon, come on, you know my work. We do layers. So it's a pumpkin flavored pumpkin that's not a pumpkin because it's the cake. I don't know. My family is going to tear this apart. Guys, subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit the notification bell. I'm Joshua John Russell, and you've been deserted. Can we make it into a jack-o'-lantern? <laughs> no. Are you gonna share some of that giant piece with us?